If you are saying amen, say a convincing amen. amen. If you are sure of God's visitation, I'd like you to lift up your voice wherever you are. Lord, I thank you for making a way for my new dawn, for my change of story, for my breakthrough, for my turnaround. I thank you for wiping away tears from me. I thank you for opening doors that no man can shut. I thank you for giving me rest round about this year. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you for perfecting the things that concerns me. I give you praise. When you open, no man can close. I thank you. I thank you for disgracing every counsel of hell, for disappointing every agenda of wickedness. I give you all the glory and I give you all the praise. Dependable God, reliable God, I thank you. This year shall be a year of laughter for me indeed. This year shall be a year of amazing progress, amazing liftings, amazing wonders. Lord, I say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Glory be to your awesome name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. It is my new dawn era. Congratulations. Please put your hands together for Jesus. And please be seated. Hallelujah. Let mercy prevail. Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Genesis 19 and verse 16. And while he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth and set him without the city. Praise God. Every time we come before God in prayer, one thing everyone needs, which everyone must get, if you must get answer, is mercy. Let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain what? So if you don't obtain mercy, there is no need telling Father your word say. Because he said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion on whom I will show. So it's not a, you have, Lord, it is written. You have been quoting, it is written, and nothing is working. It is time to approach God on the right platform, mercy. Mercy. Let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us. Time will fail us to go through the book of Psalm 136. All of the acts of God in Psalm 136 is mercy endured forever. Is mercy endured forever. Is mercy endured forever. Is mercy endured forever. So if you look at your life, take a look at the sequence of events, of blessings, of progress. It is not because you are too special. It's not because you are overqualified. It's not even because you are the best. But mercy has prevailed for you. Mercy. 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 His mercy endure it forever. So mercy has the power. It has the capacity to prevent you from being consumed. It has power to exempt you from being wasted. A decree went forth that Sodom and Gomorrah should be destroyed. Lot and his wife, they escaped because of mercy. 
Why? Somebody was praying for their intervention. Somebody was crying, Lord, I know you have already decided to waste Sodom and Gomorrah, but please have mercy on my brother and his wife. Have mercy upon his children. Mercy. David said, goodness and mercy. Wherever you find mercy, goodness must follow. <laughs> there is a goodness and mercy shall follow you. Goodness. Every time the mercy of God appears, glory must take place. Glory must take place. That is why your prayer will look like a struggle. Every time you feel as if you are standing justified. Let mercy have its right place in your life. Things will work. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the merciful. Please put that scripture. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall do what? <laughs> and I like the way Dr. Paul Enenche defines it. Mercy say, let's go. Let's go. Mercy say what? Let's go. A clear demonstration of mercy, let me take for example now, all these men of God sitting here and the pastors who have not come pastor please have mercy because have mercy on this person now will you ignore all these people put all of them together Jesus is right at the right hand of God saying father because of my blood show mercy on them I want to guarantee you, these 21 days, your shame will be wiped away. The reproach of your life will be taken away. If you are saying amen, you say better amen. So everything about my life and your life anchors on the mercy of God. Many of us have offended in several ways, offended God, not even man. But mercy still prevailed. Let's know some things about mercy tonight. Mercy is being compassionate. It is showing forgiveness to a lawbreaker. Shall a prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive be delivered? Say, yeah, even the prey of the terrible. <laughs> A terrible one is someone that intentionally did it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> he intentionally did it. Even the prey of the terrible shall be what? Delivered. That's where mercy speaks. Not just for you, but everything around you. The mercy of God also talks about the compassion that helps the weak. Even where the weak is helpless. I'd like you to understand also, mercy can override judgment. Maybe there is an evil judgment or an evil vow hanging upon anybody's head. The mercy of God will override. Oh, somebody's not saying amen. When forces are vowed to undo you, mercy can say, no, you cannot undo this one. I see the mercy of God overriding over every evil judgment upon your life. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. It 
if you are to be given what you deserve, what many will get? <laughs> it can put you in the cooler. But when mercy is at work, when mercy is at work, you know, the enemy is, a, is expecting evil to take place. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But instead of that evil to take place, good is taking place. You don't understand it. So mercy offers us a relief, permanent relief. So in the place of prayer and fasting, hear me and hear me well, mercy is a strong force in getting answers from God. Mercy. There are some people that have toiled, they have labored, they have done everything humanly possible. They have fasted, they have done midnight, they have done dry fasting, they have sown sacrificial seed, they have been anointed, wash leg, wash head, wash every part. But nothing is still showing. But hear me and hear me well, mercy will prevail for you. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. The mercy of God is an investment upon our life. It is a sacrifice that cannot be silenced. So if you live your life without mercy, <laughs> you will die without mercy. Please, I beg you, I want you to count more on the mercy of God. Because wherever mercy is at work, power is flowing. Wherever mercy is at work, power is flowing. Wherever mercy is at work, there is a demonstration of God's hand. Wherever mercy is at work, the mercy of God, it will prevail over the judgment of God. Over the judgment of God. That's why tonight we are going to be crying out for the mercy of God to locate us. For his tender mercy to answer for us. There is a place called the mercy seat. And this appears 261 times in the Bible. The mercy seat. What does the mercy seat look like? Let us come before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. There is a mercy seat. Every time God sits on that mercy seat, man, I want to let you know, the things that are holding you must let you go. And someone will be released this night. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. You know, someone got the attention of Jesus by shouting for mercy. Have mercy on me, thou son of David. It looked like a noise, but heaven stood at an attention. Have mercy on me, thou son of David. And Jesus turned and said, please go and call that person. Because this crusade will not work if I don't answer him. And they brought the noisemaker called Blind Bartimaeus. And Jesus said, what will you have me do for you that I may receive my sight? That I may receive my sight. And mercy prevailed for him that very day. You need mercy. Tell your neighbor you need mercy. When it looks as if that your victory is not complete. You need mercy when you are surrounded by mockers. You need mercy. You need mercy when you are being threatened by enemies. When forces are on, on rage to stop the act of God in your life. You need the mercy of God. When you are the verge of disgrace, you need the mercy of God. You need the mercy of God. When you are going down in debt, you need the mercy of God. When you are beclouded by series. When I mean series, I mean one, one, for, one level of disappointment to another level of disappointment. You need mercy. You need mercy. When your destiny has been trailing on the path of misfortune, you need the mercy of God. You need the mercy of God. When an evil decree has been passed over you, you need the mercy of God so that God will disappoint the counsel of the wicked. Frustrate the token of liars. 
make diviners to be mad for your sake. If you are saying amen, say better amen. My prayer for you today, you will not escape the mercy of God. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Even God cannot say no to mercy. Even God cannot say no to mercy. So every time we cry out for mercy, we are saying, Lord, show up. If every other thing fail, mercy can't fail. If every other thing fail, even if you don't even know the scripture to use in praying, mercy cannot fail. And I believe God that mercy will answer for you. It will answer for your family. Remember, let's read this scripture before we rise up to pray. Romans chapter 9 and verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion on whom I will do what? The other one says, it's not of him that will it. Nor of him that run it, but of what? So the fact that you have your expectation in your hand is not a confirmation. You have willed it, but willing it does not guarantee it. It's not of him that willed it. It's not of him that will it. Nor of him that what? But of God that showeth what? Mess. So it's only when mercy is at work that wills come to pass. It's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. This year 2018, you will have a favorable outcome. If you are saying amen, say better amen. What men never thought will come to pass in your life, mercy will put it in your hand. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You see, mercy has a way of picking the ones that are not favored and dumping the ones that are preferred. There are people you can look at now and say, it's like they are the ones that uh, this thing will work for this year. Hey, no, not under God. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will show compassion on whom I will do what? Show compassion. As we rise up to pray, please, I beg you, put aside whatever you think you know. Lord, show me mercy. You may not be the best, but mercy will sort you out. If you are saying amen, say better amen. When mercy is at work, doors that are vowed not to open for others will open for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. When forces are vowed that they will wipe you out, mercy will say, no, you can't wipe away this one. Instead, it's you that will go. Rise up to your feet. As we are praying, mercy. As you are partaking of the communion, mercy. As the blood of sprinkling is answering for you, mercy. By all means, the mercy of God will touch you tonight. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Stood up with the prayer. We are going to focus on this for the next 10 minutes. Whatever you have in your hand, just keep it first. I want you to pray for mercy. Father, let your mercy prevail over every issue. Become practical testimonies. Become evidential testimonies. Become visible realities. By your mercy, do what no man can do in my life. I count on your mercy. Your mercy never fails. I count on you. I told you, mercy overrides judgment. I don't know the author that has vowed that this year you will see shame. The blood of Jesus will silence them. 
I'd like you to lift up your voice. Oh, the blood of Jesus, arise for me. Silence every strange voice crying out against me. Voice of witchcraft. The blood of Jesus will swallow your swallower. I don't know the voices that are crying out against you. But as you partake of this communion, the silencing power of the blood will silence every evil voice. Make that amen louder. The plan marked out against you by the wicked. I decree by this communion, mercy deletes them in the name of Jesus. By the mercy of the blood, that wicked agenda is deleted. You are not saying amen like a believer. I don't know what your expectation look like. But by the mercy of God, they will come to pass one after the other. If you are saying amen, say a good amen. It is done. You see, and this is the confidence that we have in him. Every time we pray, he hears us. Lift up your voice now and begin to say, Father, I thank you. Because I know you have heard me. I give you praise for answer to prayers. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. It is done.